Good, Good morning, morning to, to all. A graduation is an exciting time. It's, it's both an ending and a beginning. It's warm memories of the past and big dreams for the future. It is my privilege to welcome this gathering on behalf of Adventist College of Nursing. This is the day where the students and parents were waiting for and now the time has come for us to celebrate. First, it's, it's my privilege to welcome the dignitaries on the dais, our Honorable President, Dr. G. Nageshwara, Mr. Ajay David, Vice President General and HR, Mr. Selvaraj, Vice President Student Affairs, Mr. Agassin, Vice President Finance, our Principal, Professor Carolina Sangita, Adventist College of Nursing, Vice Principal, Professor Padmavati, Adventist College of Nursing. I also welcome Mrs. Suvarna, the Dean of Women, Mrs. Shaila Kumari, the sponsor and coordinating of the graduating class. Especially, it's my pleasure to welcome our chief guest, Mr. Yutaka Wayama, Associate Vice President, Takshila Hospital Operating Private Limited, Bangalore, who will be officially welcomed a little later. And, and also, I would like to welcome Mr. Mr. Pogu Wilson, CEO and President of OWPH Pune. Now is the time to welcome our HODs, staff, faculty and students of Adventist College of Nursing, along with the principals, departmental heads, staff and students of Lowry Group of Institution. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome our parents, friends, well-wishers, relatives, church members who are come to witness this program. I also would like to welcome the officers from Metro, Union and Division. It's also a great joy to welcome our ex-students who are amongst us to receive the awards. In case if I have missed out any one of you, please do pardon me. Last but not the least, I would like to welcome the special people, the shining stars of this morning, the graduating students of 2023, the 14th batch of Adventist College of Nursing. I wish you all the best as you complete your degree and move, move outside and serve the humanity. May the Lord bless you and keep you safe wherever you go. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. May, May the, the good Lord be praised and honored and all glory to be given to Him. For this, this morning, our scripture, scripture is taken from Joshua 1.8. Joshua 1.8. This book of the law shall not depart out of my mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. Thou shalt mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous. Then thou shalt have good success. May the good Lord add his portion of blessings for the scriptures that is just read. This time that we pray, I request all of you, including the graduating class, please stand as we pray. And I also request the graduating class, please hold your uh, cap the tip of the thing as I pray. A most precious, loving Father in heaven, thank you, Lord. You, you have given, given us the privilege and uh, the good, good time you have given us, the providence that we, all of us, could be present here on this wonderful 
graduation ceremony of our premier institution particularly the adventist college of nursing lord we thank you so much for the parents who are present here thank you so much for the wisdom you gave them 4 years ago they were wondering where to admit their children after their 12th examination lord you gave them the wisdom and they made a decision for that their children can be educated here in our great institution adventist college of nursing lord this organization has educated many students around the globe thank, thank you so much, much for the wonderful privilege and, and the provisions you have made lord, lord we thank, thank you for the parents for their dedication, dedication their, their commitment and uh, their, their hard work, work in, in taking care of all their, their needs from, from the time they started their education here, here. We believe that they must have went through a lot of challenges in providing the needs, particularly the finance, Lord. We thank you so much for their dedication and their love to their children. Lord, at this moment, we also believe that they are here standing as a proud parents that their hard work has been rewarded on, on this day, day to, to see their uh, children standing here, here who are going, going to be graduated shortly from now. now. Lord, Lord, we do also pray along with the parents, Lord, their relatives, friends and well-wishers who are here to witness this such a wonderful, wonderful graduation program. program. Lord, as the administrations along with the president we thank you so much for the privilege you have given us to serve this student and we are also very happy that they are here standing and making a statement that they are going to be graduated thank you so much for the wonderful feeling you have given each one of us lord we do remember the principal the vice principal and all the faculty members including the teachers who have taught them from the beginning until now yes lord they must have gone through a lot of experience hardship in mending the students to bring up to this level lord thank you so much for their dedication and i'm sure they are also very happy at this moment to see their students here are going to be graduated Lord, Lord, we, we thank, thank you so much for uh, having given an opportunity for us to have the chief guest amongst us, Mr. Yu Thakha, the associate vice president of our Sakura Hospital, where even our students go there for clinical experience. Lord, we thank you so much for this presence here, who has come to grace this occasion. We pray that you will be with him, be with his work there. In that, that hospital, we also pray, pray for his two boys, boys and, and his wife. Take care of him as he continues to do his, his work in that great hospital. Lord, Lord we, we thank you once again, Lord. And, and especially, we request that you will be with the student of our Adventist College of Nursing, the graduating class 2023, who are here with, with all satisfactions and, and happiness, happiness in them reflecting that they are here to be graduated and, and will be going out of this portal of institution with, with great experience. Lord, we also realize that it's not going to be that easy with them. them. It's really going to be challenging because they're going to be converted from student life to staff life. Lord, we pray that you will be with them as they go to different parts of the world and the different parts of this country doing this nursing work in hospitals and other medical fields. We pray that you will be with them, bless them, Lord. Not only the education they learn from here, we also pray that they will exhibit the 
good, good characters, the ethical values and moral values they have learned from this portal of institution. We pray that you will be with them, bless them, Lord. As they work, Lord, let them exhibit their talent and may their touch be a healing touch to the patients they may come across. May their place wherever they work, Lord, find the difference in this group of students and uh, let, let them do, do their work loyally, faithfully and, and dedicate themselves with love, good, good care, compassion and above all with, with empathy, empathy, Lord. We, we pray that you will be with them, them and bless them, Lord. We also invite you to be present in this, this graduation ceremony, Lord. Help, help us and be with us so that we will all feel blessed at the, the end, end of this program, program Lord, we will realize that God's presence was with us. Thank, Thank you once again, and we request you to be continue to be with us for the rest of the program, because we pray in one and only name of Lord Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Kindly be seated. At this moment, I invite the Women's Ministry of our Church to come and give us a rendition.
this, this morning. morning. I, I can, can see <coughs> all the hearts that is present in this hall are filled with joy and, and excitement. For the reason the young boy, man and woman who are seated in front, who are given as a raw material to our hands. Now the day has come to be declared as professionals. Academically, technically, with the hands-on training, with the community responsibilities, and with the service to God as they serve, serve the mankind. mankind. For, For this great occasion, you all have gathered, and before we could declare them, we have certain ceremonies to be followed. For which we have invited Dr. Utaka Oyama from Takshila group of medical care units, and sacrifice is part of it. He has, he has more than 10 years of experience in the healthcare care industries, including hospital work. He has, he has an extensive experience in group-wide business analysis, business strategy, development and organizational restructuring as a member of the headquarters staff. He demonstrates the ability to analyze, to identify the issues and guide with suitable solutions. He hails from Japan. He had his early education, after which he entered into Kyoto University to complete his undergraduation in the Bachelor of Policy Management. Completed 18 months intensive seminar in medical welfare policy and management. Then it also took up his Masters of Media and Governance from the same university, that is Kyoto University, in the year 2004. And went on to, on to his Master of Business, Business Administration Education in 2012 in USA in the Thunderbird School of Global Management at Arizona in the USA in 2012. From 2004 to he began the Associate Business Development Department head and served as a market research senior resident providing guidance to development and operate range of innovative residents for seniors and he has also completed 44 million US dollars comfort garden as a in Yokohama in, in Japan. Japan. In, in 2006, he took another project for 143 US dollars, million US dollars, in Comfort Hills, Rako, in Kibo, in June 2009. He entered into second medical system in Japan, Japan Tokyo, in the year 2004 to 2009. As assistant manager, business development department head. Then he also was promoted as a management trainees in auditing department in the from in the year 2010. Later he moved on to as a chief of corporate business planning department, management training, corporate business planning department from 2014. To 2016. And still, 
because, because of his hard work, work and intelligent way of dealing the situations in the health care unit. He became the senior manager in strategic planning department. Manager and management analysis of group business, business improvement and organizational restructuring. Okay, because as the, move, as the world moves fast, every department has to be restructured in fact to say every six months. In, in six, six months' month time, time, the existing strategy gets outdated. So, so he has to keep on refining his mind and come out new strategies. Presently, he is working as a professional, experienced person and the capacity of associate vice president in Taxila Hospital and he has come to India in August 2022. While, While we had a, a little, little chat with, with him, he is much comfortable with India, with the Indian food, food the, the culture, culture, and he feels, feels India as his homeland, homeland he wants want to serve it more years in India, India if the, the company permits. He is blessed with, with a beautiful, beautiful family, with the two, two boys who are studying in our schools, schools in, in India. Sir, we, we welcome, welcome you for this 14th batch of nursing college graduation ceremony and I would like to invite our college president to do the honors. I now invite Dr. Uttara Yama to speak to our graduating class. Thank you so much. Good morning. Congratulations to all our graduates. Congratulations to also to the parents on the graduation your children. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to you all. To this be told, this, this will be my first experience to, to attend a commencement ceremony in, in India. I am truly proud my first experience will be a commencement from a such a wonderful school. Thank, Thank you very much, the board, board of management and faculties and school officials for giving me uh, uh, such a wonderful opportunity. Before I move down to my speech, I would like, like to introduce a little about, about our hospital, Sakurawada Hospital. We are a 300 bed multi-speciality hospital that opened in Berandur in 2014. It, it is, is first and the only foreign uh, direct investment hospital invested by the Japanese companies in India. Since its opening, we have been seeking to contribute to the society by combining the knowledge of both India and Japan and exploring the new home of the hospital. For example, the in addition to the department, such as neurosurgery, orthopedics, cardiology, CTVS, a rehabilitation center has become one of our hosted major strengths. And it is steadily taking root in the society as a new model. Kaizen, which means continuous improvement in Japanese, it's one of our operating principles and numerous improvement activities are conducted every year for improve the quality of our daily services. We also provide the training program for in-charge nurses in Japan, the hospital, and uh, this activity may be another point that to differentiate us from other facilities. 
today, I just want to tell you the two things about from my experience. The first is to remember your original intention and keep your dreams alive. The people you will be interacting with in the workplace are patients and their families who are ill or anxious. People who have lived normal lives and played a variety of roles in the society suddenly find themselves ill one day. The impact of interrupting one's life and placing oneself in a hospital can be even greater than the anxiety of the illness itself. I have worked in hospital in Japan and I know well that the nursing profession is truly precious and the nurses play a crucial role in patient care. What exactly uh, make a patient choose a hospital? I think one reason is that it's just close to their home, has a super doctor, or has a good facility and equipment. But the nurses are the one who have the most contact with the patients and the families, and their presence is also an important factor. If nurses listen to patients and their families, their anxiety will be relieved and treatment will be much more effective. In this sense, our business would not be possible without nurses like you. That is how important you are and I hope you will be proud of that. By the way, why did you choose to become a nurse? Even if you studied in the same school, I'm sure that each of you has their uh, own reasons. All of you who are graduating today have strong hopes and goals as a nurse. However, as the years go by, we human beings tend to gradually forget the passion we had in the beginning. Compromise with the sweet life of reality and tend to be swept away by the easy and comfortable way of life. At first, we realize we have strayed from the past we should be on, but if we fail to correct our course, we may end up far away from our hope and ideas. And even the sight of the past, we should be on. Also, you will be worked as a nurse, and you may find that the world is different from what you had imagined, or that is unreasonable. If you find yourself in such a situation, please remember your original intention once, why you decide to become a nurse. Everyone always encounters many difficulties when having a dream or a goal and putting it into action. However, if you have a dream you want to realize as a nurse, please do not give up and try yourself best until the end. It's not easy to pursue and realize your dream. It's a dream just because it's not easy enough. And its realization is not something that is given to you by others, but something that you have to work hard to achieve. If you ever feel discouraged, please remember the passion you feel today, your original intention, and keep yourself inspired. And second is learning last forever. I understand, today you all feel you are no longer students. However, that is just an illusion. In my case, I can feel, I can feel this when I started working after graduate school. 
until then, I studied the Japanese healthcare system, social security policy, and had assumed my knowledge in this field was sufficient. And it will be good enough. However, my confidence quickly shattered when I was actually transferred to the hospital and immersed in operation as a admin staff, including formulation of management improvement plans and the business strategies. So, so, as I, I had a meeting with medical staff and then worked on new projects, I was forced, forced to realize I lacked even the medical terminology and the background expertise I would encounter on a daily basis. As, as I witnessed many important decisions, I also realized I lacked solid knowledge to base my decision on and realized that my learning days had, had only just begun. begun. After that, I began to communicate with various healthcare staff to acquire knowledge in areas where I lacked, as well as to actively observe what kind of value standards and decisions each responsible person was making in order to set. If there was anything, I could put into practice myself. These experiences have been the foundation for my work in the healthcare industry and the catalyst for my subsequent study in a business school. Now, here in India, where the healthcare system, the culture, and the business practices are different from those of the past, I'm learning a new thing every day while receiving bias stimuli. You may think my experience may not be applicable. Certainly, there may not be a big gap between what you have learned here and what is required you as a nurse. However, the job of nurse requires a big, very high level of safety as any mistake in injection, endurance infusion, or medication can lead to serious potential life threatening accidents. Also, the flow of work is to move only after the doctor's orders. Nurses also need to understand the patient condition and the whether the treatment they are going to give is appropriate. I believe that the quality of nursing care can be improved by actively thinking and acting rather than, than by waiting, waiting someone's instruction. In this context, as in, in other fields, medical technologies is evolving on a daily basis, and new techniques and theory must be introduced when, when their the technology ad advances just change common practice of medicine. There will naturally be change in the nursing care provided. As the medicine become more advanced and specialized, the context between more complex and the nurse must continue to learn in order to respond to those changes in a timely manner. I hope you are not afraid to change, but always absorb new things and moved by new discoveries. Finally, I have, I have spoken today about two things. things. Never forget your yeah, original intention and, and keep your dream, dream alive. And the learning lasts forever. I believe it is also very important to keep your own mind and body in order when supporting patients and working among the medical staff. I hope you will take time for yourself and always respond to patients with passion and wonderful smile. I hope you will continue to work hard to become a nurse who is trust 
and, and respected, respected by, by patients, their, their family, and community. Thank, Thank you all very much. Good morning. Good morning, morning everyone. everyone. Respected, Respected President, Sir, Vice President, President Chief, Chief Guest, Principal, Vice Principal, dear teachers, dear parents, and all the staff, and all other students and the graduates. I stand before you to give response on behalf of the graduating class of 2023. Sir, we are really grateful for your presence, for the inspiring words that you have told us, and I ensure you that we, we the graduating class, class of 2023, we will always remember our original intention as to why we took up our nursing profession. We will make sure whenever the things go wrong around us, we will never forget our intention that why we have taken up this profession and we will give our best when, when we are performing the nursing care towards the patient and the family. We will also not forget the original passion that we had in our heart when we chose this profession and we'll uh, we, we promise to never give up no matter what and, and we'll reflect whatever we have learned from this institution whatever we have learned from our, from our parents from our family and, and we'll make sure that people remember us because of our deeds and not because of our words thank, thank you so much everyone Good morning, morning all of you. I, I think, think now is an important time, time where you will be conferring your certificates in your honor. Being a nurse, nurse isn't, isn't about, about just grades, it's about, about being who we are. No book can teach you how to cry with a patient. No class can teach you how to tell their family that their parents have died or are dying. No professor can teach you how to find a dignity in giving someone a bed bath. A nurse is not about the pills or the charting. It's about being able to love people when they are at their weakest moment. You are called to this noble profession of being a nurse. You, your parents prayerfully selected this Adventist college to be your home where you can learn the four years that you spent in this institution, learning, staying away from parents, coming to a different atmosphere, learning, gaining the knowledge, the practice, the hospital had given you an opportunity where you could practice what you have learned. We thank the institutions that have helped you out to fashion you for what you are today. Our is the hospital, the Sakra of the World Hospital, uh, Rainbow Hospital for the, the pediatrics and the government institutions. So all this is an area where you were able to learn so many things that you need to develop. The skill and the positive that the teachers have helped you to gain the knowledge and the positive attitude. So this information that you have got. This, this knowledge that you have developed, may you, de may you form a future that, that can, can help you. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Welcome, Welcome graduate to the world of endless possibilities. So, so with this start, I would request the president of the, uh, of the Lowry Group of Institutions to come forward to present to confer the certificates and give the charge to the graduates as I read them. Washa Washa Singh, she is the only candidate from the embassy. She 
She's, she's a class, class president, president and she's, she's from, from West, West Bengal. Bengal. Next, God and Joseph. He is from, from Tamil, Tamil Nadu. Nadu. Next, Next, we have, have Dinikaran, who is a class secretary. secretary. He is from, from Tamil Nadu. Nadu. Next, Next, we have, have Anadin Essa, who is the assistant secretary. She is also from, from Tamil, Tamil Nadu. Nadu. Next. Next, Next we, we have Dasini Mohan, who is from Andhra. Next, Next we have Sarah Hanna, Hanna who is from, from Tamil, Tamil Nadu. Nadu. Next, Next we, we have Ebenezia. She is from, from Tamil Nadu. Nadu. Next, we have Paul Patricia. She is from Tamil Nadu. Next, we have Siddhi Das from Bangladesh. Supriya from, from Tamil, Tamil Nadu. Ishita from, from Andhra. Bina Michel. From, from Maharashtra. Govati. Mani 
Telepon. Cici. Punjab. Vidya. From Tamil Nadu. Chenchala. From Odisha. Sangeet Prasad from Andhra. Kevin Jerry from Tamil Nadu. Vikilif Jero Mwada from Bangladesh.
Madam Principal and the Honorable Chief Guests, Dr. Yutaka and Dignitary Sanadayas, dear parents, friends, well-wishers, and my beloved class of 2023. And it gives me a great pleasure and an honor to give you a charge at this, this time and before you leave the portals of this institution. And this may be the last time that you will uh, hear from me instructions before you leave this campus. And therefore, and we want you to take the charge that we give to your heart and march into the portal of the world with the confidence and trust. We are proud of you. You are here for the last four years. Now you are ready to march out and you can stand on your feet. You will be able to scale greater heights, plan well, and look for your future with vision and mission and confidence. Therefore, I as a president of this institution, the class of 2023, I charge you this day to keep up the ideals, standards, values, and the discipline taught by this institution. I charge you this day to manifest the physical, the moral, the intellectual, the ethical, and the spiritual values of life. I charge you this day to be always sincere, faithful, honest, obedient, loyal, and trustworthy citizens. I charge you this day to manifest deep spirit, patriotism, principle of leave and let leave, be loving and lovable citizens. I charge you this day to keep away from all sorts of temptations, bad habits, hobbies, social evils, and the worldly attractions, but lead healthful and temperate a life. I charge you this day to be hardworking, to grow in your educational career, grow in your profession, profession and do your best for the growth and development of this country. I charge you this day to respect your parents, teachers, elders, always, and never forget this institution and wherever you are and whatever you are in the society. I charge you this day to care for the environment and use the resources responsibly. I charge you this day to be God-fearing always and keep God first in everything you do and lead a prayerful life. I charge you this day to follow your dreams and to build a promising future. And God bless you all. All the best. Once again, congratulations to each one of you. Our prayers, our best wishes are with you as you march out with the degree, with the confidence and honor. God bless. At first, I would like to take a moment in front congratulating all you young people who are seated here. Are we all happy? Yes. I was watching the parents behind. They were all excited. Parents, you have come in your best attire, and I am sure you understand the significance of this program, this event, this morning. And we are glad that you are part of this program. From, from your net stage till the, the last breath of our life, every human being goes through a transition. And, and in this transition, there is a time when students at pre-university, 
they were totally depending on parents. But after pre-university, they begin to think on their own. They want to make a beautiful career for themselves. And uh, this is how it has happened. And I would like to thank all the parents and the students, unless and until it was an amalgamation of your thoughts, the point of coming to this Adventist College of Nursing would have not happened. And it's because you both have decided to have your children, your wards, to be educated in a lovely group of institution. And I, and I believe the institution at large has offered all the, the, all the best possible to ensure every student came out well with excellence in their study program. And I'm sure they are well equipped today in order to go out into the world, venture into the world, and take up the most noblest task. And once again, I would like to congratulate you. But then, I would, I would like, like to ask a small question to all those who are seated here. here. Did, Did you, you ever, ever take time in thanking, thanking your parents, either on, on your email or in your letters or when, when you spoke, spoke to your parents? Did, Did you take time in showing your attitude of gratitude? Did, Did you do so? so? May, May I ask you all, all to stand up right, right now? Okay. okay. Can, Can you, you turn, turn back and, and look at, at your, your parents? parents? And, and give, give them, them a big, big clap. clap. Right. Thank, Thank you so much. much. Okay. okay. Students are really happy. Parents have sacrificed a lot. As our Vice President uh, for Finance has prayed. Parents, you have taken a lot of initiative. And you have contributed your time, your energy, your finance. In order to see that these young people are trained. And, uh, and, and we would, would like to thank you on behalf of the college management. And uh, I have a small task to do. Um, this is the time to make a pledge. Make a pledge. And this is a very solemn occasion, a solemn uh, exercise that we are going to do right now. And uh, this solemn occasion, or uh, this solemn pledge that you're making is in the presence of the chief guest who spoke, who spoke some motivational thoughts, encouragement thoughts to you, and in the presence of all your staff and faculty, in the presence of your principal and vice principal, and you're also making this solemn pledge in the presence of all your parents, and if there are any siblings who are here. And remember, it's an important pledge. And when you walk out of the portals of this institution, keep this pledge in your mind. And whatever you're doing, do your best. And there was one person who said, you know, nurses are like angels without wings. And today, today let me also make a point very clear that you are the feet and the hands of Jesus Christ. As you walk out, keep this in mind. May I once again ask you to stand up humbly? And as I administer this pledge, I want you to repeat. Okay? Repeat. Place your right hand on your chest. As, As a graduate of Adventist College of Nursing, wherever my life may take me, I will use my knowledge, experience, and skills to the best of my ability for the well-being of my communities and for the advancement of learning and the public good. I will strive to better my communities through good citizenship and active participation. I will conduct myself with honesty and integrity, take responsibility for my actions and respecting the rights, opinion, and dignity, and dignity of all people. I will maintain my competency and keep abreast of developments in my chosen profession. 
I will, I will be, be a loyal, loyal ambassador, ambassador for, for my college, college. and we will seek to promote its welfare and maintain its reputation. I will honor all who have shared their knowledge with me and will in my turn share my knowledge and experience with those who enter my profession or come under my direction. In all my dealings, I will endeavor to be known as a person of honor and repute, ever seeking to earn the peace of good conscience. Now the class will present the theme song and I'd like to invite Sam to come forward and lead the song.
we request, request the graduates, graduates to stand, stand as I do the, the blessing for, for you. <coughs> Boys, you, you can hold your shash. shash. Loving, Loving God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, on this, this beautiful, beautiful Sunday, Sunday morning, we have witnessed one more graduation exercise in this great premier institution. O oh Lord, this morning we present these 40 precious young people for the service of humanity, for healing ministry, to be your ambassadors. We thank you for the encouraging message that we received from our chief guest. And the charge that is given and the pledge that is pronounced. O oh God of heaven, they sung the song that Jesus will be their head and they will run the race. We thank you, dear Lord, for their commitment. We thank you for the support given by the parents. Thank you for the hard work put in by the staff and faculty and the administration. In the name of Jesus, as you have trained the disciples for three and a half years and sent them into the world, O oh Lord, we do the same in the name of Jesus. Now we place them into your hand as they walk out of these portals, O oh Lord. We ask that your righteous hand will go with them. Provide for them. Protect them. Bless them. May they shine in their professional life. May they grow in their experiences. May they continue to heal. May they continue to provide inspiration and blessing to the fellow human beings. Bless their future plans, O oh Lord. May your righteous hand and protective hand will go with them. Bless them abundantly. May they be your children now and forever. Because we pray all this in Jesus' precious name. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. And give you peace. Now and forevermore. Amen. Please be seated. Honorable Chief Guest, Invited Dignitaries, President, Vice Presidents, Faculties of Adventist College of Nursing as well as the various units, Parents, Well-wishers and dear students. Commit your work to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3. With this thought, I, Padma Odiyas, on behalf of Adventist College of Nursing, join you here to acknowledge our students' accomplishment both academically and in their extracurricular activities. We will be presenting awards in various categories such as University Subject Rank Holder, Distinction and Best Outgoing Student to recognize their exceptional efforts and contributions. For this, may I request our Chief Guest uh, Mr. Takao Oyama to felicitate our students. First category for Outstanding Achievement Award, we have Ms. Gracelyn Yu has secured 7th rank in CET, that is Communication and Educational Technology, and 8th rank in Nursing Research and Statistics. This is examination uh, the past four years. All over Karnataka, we have more than 350 plus colleges. Out of this, she scored or secured this university ranks. <laughs> Next, I call upon Ms. Jacqueline Anthony Saldana, has secured 6th rank in CET and ninth rank in Community Health Nursing 1.
Now I call upon Ms. Vincy Joy, who has secured 10th rank in both CET as well as microbiology. Next, Ms. Jennifer. Jennifer, she has secured 9th rank in CET. Now I call upon Ms. Moni Nayak, who got 10th rank in Nursing Research and Statistics. And Ms. Parmita has secured 2nd rank in Sociology. And Ms. Sonali has secured 8th rank in Psychology. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, sir. Next category is the Meritorious Award. This is given for the students who have secured 75 percentage and above marks in the aggregators examination for the academic year 2021 20, and 22 as well as 23. For this I request our president sir to honor our students. Uh, to start with Mrs. Bhagya Lakshmi who is our faculty now. She secured a 75 percentage and above. They must be nursing second year. Ms. Sangeeta, Sangeeta G. Palraj from Pediatric Nursing. She also secured 75 percentage above in MS Nursing second year examination. Now I call upon Ms. Sonika. Pediatric Nursing who secured 75 percentage and above in university examinations. Moving to the BS in nursing fourth year, I just call upon Ms. Jacqueline Saldana. And Vincy J. Vincy Joy. Ms. Parmita. Ms. Hilra Magimai. In her absence, I call uh, Grace Linda to receive the award. Thank you, sir. Now I request Dr. M. Wilson to felicitate our students. Continue with this third year BSc nursing. Uh, distinction awards awardees Miss Anulin Esto, <laughs> next Miss Ebenezia, <laughs> Miss Gomati R. Ms. Priya M. Ms. Ruth Angelin. Ms. Stella Hanna. Stella Hanna. And Ms. Vedita Gill.
विविधता गेली थँक्यू सर नाव आय रिक्वेस्ट आर वाईस प्रेसिडेंट जनरल मिस्टर अजय देवी टू हँड ओव्हर फ्यू मेमेंटोज स्टार्ट विथ सेकंड इयर बी एस सी नर्सिंग अमिषा अलका सिंग एंजलो निकिटा आयुष का एलु शिवा Aishka is absent that's why Sherita I asked her to collect it Miss Purnima Miss Purnima Elishiva Miss Purnima Ms. Shruti Ms. Shruti and Ms. Vijay Lakshmi Vijay Lakshmi Thank you sir. Now I request our vice president Mr. Selvaraj sir to hand over few mementos. Uh, for first year BSC nursing call upon Allen S Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Allen S Wilson. <laughs> Ms. Raksha. <laughs> Ms. Raksha. Ms. Shaini Alvarez Shaini Ms. Velala Joyce Ms. Agnes from BS Nursing Second Year, Second Semester. BS Nursing Second Semester. Ms. Jansirani from Second Semester BS. Thank you, sir. Thank you sir Any great achievement is preceded by many difficulties and many lessons great achievements are not possible without them so congratulations to all of you to go with the next one our students not only are excellent in performing curricular also good in co curricular and extra curricular activities recently we had organized world heart day activities now i am announcing students who got prizes in various events For this, I request our Vice President Finance, Mr. Agustin Sir, to hand over the mementos to the students. For slogan first uh, contest, it's slogan writing contest. Shaini Alvarez, who got first prize from second year BS Nursing. <laughs> Miss Athira got second prize from second year BS Nursing. 
Shiny Alvarez Miss Atira and Miss Blessy Miraclin from 3rd year BSC She got the prize, Blessy Miraclin For quiz contest, Purnima from 3rd year B.S.C. Nursing and Mr. Hari Krishnan from 2nd year B.S.C. Nursing got first prize. Purnima and Mr. Hari Krishnan. Indra Bilasha and Third year BS Nursing, Mr. Rogan Rajo from second year BS Nursing got second prize. Ms. Vardhatari Das and Jonathan from second year BSC got third prize. Swatantari. And Jonathan. Thank you, sir. Rogan Thank you, sir. Now I request our principal, Carolina Sangeeta, to felicitate few students. For poster making contest, we have Rini Kumar, third year BS Nursing, who got first prize. And Ms. Dorcas, second semester, got second prize. And Ms. Vatnatari Das, third year BS Nursing, got third prize. Dorcas from second semester got second prize. Spatantari got third prize from third year BS nursing. For colors creation contest, Jinsia from second semester got first prize. Jinsia. Miss Ambika from second year got second prize. And Mr. Chapala Joseph, second semester got third prize. Ambika. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, now, the main highlight of this event, I would like to introduce our sports champions and best outgoing students. For this, I would like to request our president, the chief guest, to honor our students. Sports champion in 2021-22 academic year for women, Ms. Indra Balesha. For men,
for men, Mr. Joshua A. Best outgoing student in MS Singh, Ms. Varsha Singh, who is a hard working and displays leadership and quality. Congratulations. For B. Asina Singh, For Bia Sina Singh, this person who got, anyway you got to know, person who got distinction in three consecutive years, uh, having Angel in her name, Ruth Angelin. Thank you, sir. Each student here today is an inspiration to us, reminding us that with dedication and hard work, anyone can achieve greatness. We would like to extend our heartfelt congratulations to all the award recipients who have set an example for your peers and shown us what is possible with commitment and perseverance. Proverbs 3, chapter 3, verse 5 and 6, Trust in Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. Congratulations to all the graduating students as well as the awardees. And now this time, I request Mr. Leo to come forward to announce one more award. That is Benson Award. I'm here to announce about a unique award given every year during graduation. It is called as Benson Memorial Award. This award is given in memory of Mr. Benson Philip Jose, who studied in Adventist College of Nursing from the year 2007 to 2011. He was a best outgoing student during this uh, graduation services. He was part of the class of 2011. I was also part of this class. So his classmates came together in his memory. They give out two awards, a cash prize and a trophy. So this year, I would like to invite our college president to give out this uh, unique award. So the trophy we would like to hand over to Miss Ebenesia. Can you come and receive this? We also have a cash award, a Benson Memorial Cash Award that we would like to give to Ms. Gomati R. Can you come over on the stage? We have come to the end of this program as a sponsor of, the, of this class 2023. I stand before you to tell the word of thanks. First and foremost, I would like to thank God, the Almighty, for his presence in making this program a success. On behalf of the entire graduating class, faculty of Adventist College of Nursing, I am honored and delighted to extend our heartfelt gratitude to our chief guest, 
Mr. Y Yukata Oyama for sharing his knowledge and experience in this program. I'm sure that the graduating class will carry his message and follow wherever they go. Secondly, I would like to express my gratitude to Dr. Wilson, CEO and President of OWPH Pune for giving us an inspirational message yesterday and blessing the graduating class. Then I would like to thank our President, Dr. J. Nageshwar Rao, and all the Vice Presidents, Mr. Selvaraj, the Vice President of Students Affairs, Mr. Ajay David, the Vice President General and HR, Mr. Agustin Unnadaraj, the Vice President of Finance, for their support in organizing this program. I also would like to extend my deepest gratitude to our nursing college principal, Mrs. Carolina Sangeetam, and Vice Principal Mrs. Padmavati for their constant support. Furthermore, I would like to thank all the faculty of Adventist College of Nursing and the office staff for helping us in this program. Your tireless efforts have made this day possible. We also owe a profound debt of gratitude to all the other supporters who helped us in this program, like Mr. Ranjan and his team, Mr. Gladwin, Mr. Mel Melvin, and other those who helped in this PA system and photographs and other, etc. Mr. Paul Raj Peter for the music, Mr. Solomon and his team for the media, Pastor Naveen and Pastor Samson for the church programs, uh, Mr. Sunil and uh, hostel deans and all the auxiliary staffs for their immense support. Then I would like to thank all the parents and loved ones. Your encouragement, support, and sacrifice has been the pillars of your children's success today. Then I would like to thank, finally, to all our fellow graduates. Remember, graduation is not an end, but a new beginning. As you embark on new endeavors, Remember the knowledge and experience that you got here will serve as strong foundation of your future success. Congratulations once again to all the graduating class 2023. In closing, I would like to thank everyone for being a part of this joyous celebration. Thank you once again. At this time, we would like to uh, hand over a small memento to our chief guest. At uh, this time, I call upon the staff. I call upon the president, sir, to hand over the gift to our chief guest. Well, uh, I think we have come to the conclusion of the program before we march out and they have the photos and videos what they have done uh, uh, before we go. And that's going to be the climax of this graduation exercise. We want, your, uh, ch uh, we want you to know all the parents, well-wishers, brothers and sisters, all of you, uh, what we do for your children here and what they have done and their life on this campus. At this time, I also have an appeal. And uh, by God's grace, this year, 2023, we have concluded our uh, uh, BSc Nursing admissions for 2023-24. And uh, we will not be able to have any more, even though there was a big confusion. And by God's grace, all the confusions got over. And uh, we could be able to fill in our uh, admissions. Yesterday evening was the last admission that we had for management 
and we could get all our intake uh, except one or two uh, the government quota that uh, which we have no option so we'd like to thank all of you who are counting upon our institution for your children's education for their growth especially for the nursing degree program schools on this campus we have icsc isc school and we have sslc psc one and two and uh, we have degree college uh, operating with uh, MCO, uh, BCOM, MCOM, BSc, and BCA and B, BBA, and uh, up to MCOM. And uh, B nursing, we have BSc and MSc. And this, at this time, I would like to extend this invitation to all those who have completed your BSc nursing and having one year of uh, uh, experience. Now, MSc nursing admissions are going on. And those of you would like to send your uh, children for MSc uh, for 23, 24, and it's available. And we would like to encourage as parents, it's better. And once we give masters to your children, and then we can leave them, at least up to masters. So, and uh, those of you have got one year of experience, now you are eligible for uh, the MSc, and please come back. And we have the, the four departments. I think we have med surgical, pediatrics, and uh, OBG. And uh, we have uh, almost 16 seats for MSc. So we would like to have uh, you come back and have a life here. And we assure you that we'll take care of your children and we'll make them big and we'll make them confident and we make them world-class leaders and world-class nurses. Trust us, send us, and uh, for any degree, any course of studies here on this campus, and we'll do our best and give you back your children as uh, a diamonds. They can shine all over the world. God bless.
Now we have come to the end. Let's all rise to our feet and sing the national anthem, and then we can disperse.
जनगण मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंगा भिंज हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे Ask the audience to sit down while the dignitaries on the dais and the students march out. Thank you. <laughs>